New information tonight, while this reprieve from the hot and dry conditions is a welcome sight, farmers in Tennessee are still facing the hurdles of drought. News 2 Sam Comenti spoke with one farmer along the Duck River about the sacrifices some farmers will have to make this season. Sam. Yeah, Haley, Hickman County farmer Spencer Toddy tells me these drought conditions provide countless challenges for farmers. There's the issue of Duck River reaching historically low water levels, and then there's the reality that many farmers will have to sell off their livestock just to make ends meet. The drought conditions this year have been piled on the drought conditions from last year. So it's kind of like a twofold. In my opinion, it's the driest here that I've ever seen it. Spencer Toddy's family have farmed the lands along Duck River since the early 1800s. He understands the ramifications a drought can have on their way of life. One issue that especially concerns him this year, hay production. Typically, farmers will cut hay about three times a season, but with pastures now dried up, it's impossible to do that. It was cut the last week in June, so it will typically go dormant this time of year, but you should have seen some growth. But even after being cut, it should have grown up another two or three feet by now. With a shortage of hay, Toddy says, not only will hay prices go up, but farmers will struggle to feed their livestock. My prediction is there'll be a, a cattle shortage. Um, going all around the county and seeing the farms that no longer have cattle on them because uh, drought conditions and high prices both put together, it's just the perfect storm for people to sell out. What's the misconception or misunderstanding you think people might have about the situation this year that you would want to clear up? High prices in the stores, everybody would assume that the farmers are making a lot of money. Um, the truth is we're not the ones that are on the get rich quick side of things. If there is a positive in these trying times, it's that farmers don't know when to quit. Farmers are some of the most stubborn people that you're gonna find anywhere and they're gonna do everything they can to manage. And they always say, maybe next year. Toddy called this weekend's wet weather merely a band-aid to the dry conditions he and many other farmers now face. One thing that Toddy emphasized in our conversations, locals need to do what they can to help farmers. An example that he gave is simply visiting farmers markets and buying directly farm to table from the men and women who help feed America. Haley.